Devin here, Sky Labs, bringing you another video. Uh, this is another tips from the bench video. We've got an insanely dirty, disgusting, scratched up, but good shape dust cover. This is a, a Technics SL 1300. Um, hinges are, oh, look at that, a broken hinge. Uh, it's still being supported. I hadn't even pulled it off yet to see if that was still good, but I uh, will clean it anyway. I bought this turntable um, as a parts unit. It is just really bad. I was looking for a, um, a dust cover to use for this video, and I just saw this whole turntable sitting there and was like, you know what? Maybe we'll end up cleaning this turntable too, because um, it is disgusting. It looks like it's been in a barn. I don't know if it works. Like I say, I was just buying it um, at the price I paid. If it's just parts, it's just parts. And I imagine if the inside of this thing looks anything like the outside, then I don't want to sell it. So, um, but we'll check that out later. I'm just going to start with cleaning the dust cover because I thought it was a good candidate. Um, there's not a lot of heavy scratches on the inside and that's something I usually avoid as it's really hard to clean the inside of these, uh, thinner panels, the inside of the, the main, um, panels, you know, that's, that's doable. But one thing you want to think about when cleaning one of these or polishing one of these, if you're going to use a buffer, which is what we're going to do, which is what I always do, um, when you're on the inside and you're buffing, you don't want to get too close to those uh, narrow walls, those side walls, because this is pretty coarse. And if it, if it gets pushed in and you bump up against the inside wall of the dust cover, uh, you're going to scratch it. And I've done it. So I try and avoid it if at all possible. I bought this buffer. It's a tcp model ep 502 i'll see if i if they're still making it on amazon i'll put a link in the description if you want to grab one i think i paid 50 or 60 bucks for it a long time ago and we use it weekly you know if not a couple times a week just to polish dust covers that's the only reason i bought it it came with these different pads i tend to use the red and the orange even though um, it comes with maybe six different degrees of cut. Um, I find that for what I'm doing, uh, the red and the orange works good for me. I don't do a crazy insane, like I'm going to start with the, the, the heaviest cut and work my way all the way down to a polish. Uh, most of the time I'm just trying to clean them up a little bit and make them look good. And you'll be surprised how good this one comes out when we get done. The other thing to think about if you don't want to make that big investment, they do make these attachments for screw guns. However, mine doesn't have the same speed. It just takes longer. I don't mind using the screw gun attachment and we'll have a link to this too and um, down below in the description. This works really well if you do want to try and get those side walls. But once again, you just want to really be careful because if you get too close, you're going to have a line going through there that's going to be pretty tough to get out. So, um, once again, that's why I don't mess with the inside walls. At that point, if there's anything, you know, like a cigarette burn, I've seen it, uh, a crack or a really deep gouge. I know people out there, they take, you know, 3000 grit sandpaper and they sand it down and I've just never had good results with it. And I really just don't have the time to, you know, to spend on a dust cover. So if they're in good shape, I'll do the polish. But if it's like, you know, I'm going to put eight hours and an entire Sunday afternoon into it, I'm not doing it. So there's enough dust covers out there being made, you know, that are 120 bucks that, um, that look really good. I've tried a lot of the car wax, um, McGregor's or McCallan's or I, I don't know what all the polishes are. Um, I ended up getting Novus and I've got Novus two and three and I only use the two. I don't feel like I need to use the three. It says it's for heavy scratches 
and I don't think it really does anything more than the two does. So you can get this in a smaller bottle too, but I do feel like this is the best stuff out there for polishing for sure. We'll have a link to the description in that as well. If you do want to do this and these, you know, these drill kits, I, you don't need to spend a lot of money on them, in my opinion, or Harbor Freight even usually carries um, these attachments. I might've gotten this at Harbor Freight to tell you the truth. So really the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna record this, we've got a, a shop sink in the bathroom and I'm just gonna take it in there and I'm going to just scrub it down with uh, soap and water. But I think you'll be surprised at how good this comes out um, once we're done with it. So hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I, um, I got it washed. Um, I just used some dish soap or whatever, and it looks better. I don't know how well you can see this. It's really hard to um, see condition of dust covers in, uh, in a camera. I'm going to do that real quick with my phone. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, also, there's some, looks like, I don't know if that's Sharpie, red Sharpie on there. I am just going to try buffing that out. I'm not even going to try Well, if the Windex doesn't take it off, I'll see if the buffer gets it off. So the other thing um, I do when I buff these, it's nice to, uh, I always keep this around, this piece of, I don't know what it is. It's nasty at this point some type of insulation or padding for something maybe it was a mattress pad i don't know where i got it but i've had it forever so anyway it's the right size and i always put on an apron because you will end up wearing this stuff the rest of the day uh, we got new skylabs hats by the way they'll be on the website sunday they are richardson 110s um one size fits all. Well, they're actually, I shouldn't say that. They're large XL and um, it's a flex fit hat. These things are incredibly comfortable. Uh, just a star on it, they're black. Yeah, so skylabsaudio.com forward slash shop if you wanna grab one of these cool hats. I love the Richardson 110 hats. I specifically asked the company for these. People at um, out in Chicago, Snappy Printing embroidered them. They did a great job, so. Anyway, check them out. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna clean it with great value. So yeah, evidently Walmart. I don't think that, uh, oh yeah, it did. I think that took most of the red Sharpie off. Um, by the way, if um, if you have one of these dust covers and the um, the acrylic tab is broke, you can buy replacement brackets on eBay. I'll have a link in the description. Um, that you take a Dremel tool, cut this off, and then mount those brackets, and that keeps your original dust cover working. It's definitely an issue for this era of several manufacturers, but Mainly um, Techniques is really known for it. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I can get it much cleaner with the uh, the Windex, there's still all the lettering, you know, the, um, the Sharpie's gone at this point. There's just scratches. I'm gonna grab another photo of it, just in case the, um, the camera isn't picking it up. It's so much worse in person. All right. Now let's put some Novus on it. You don't have to put a lot on. But 
I just kind of spread it out evenly. Anywhere that I'm going to polish. And then I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute. tip here when you're doing the sides I kind of lift off a little bit because when the disc goes around into here you know because it's turning this way it likes to file off your pad so it'll help save your pad if you can kind of keep it away from that edge but it's just part of it and you know, nothing really you can do and we can try using this um, it's kind of squirrely it wants to you know move on you more you don't have as much control with the with the polishing tool because you can get both hands on it and really work it but this does work <laughs> just a little bit on the inside because I'm noticing some of the scratches are on the inside unfortunately so I'm just gonna try and avoid the, um, the side walls and I'm gonna hit this one more time I got a feeling we can get it just a little bit better your badging if there is one on your uh, dust cover because if you do just sit there on it it is going to take the the paint off so try and avoid it if you can but um, I don't know there's not much you know you can really do if you got a scratch next to it you just kind of have to make a decision of would you rather have a perfect badge or a, a good dust cover you can buy um, little uh, replacement emblems that fit on Techniques turntables. You can get them on eBay. It's actually a guy here in Iowa that makes some of them. And then I usually just go around with a, a good microfiber cloth and just do a hand buff on it. This one really didn't turn out as good as I was hoping, but you know, not bad. A lot better than it was, no question. Anything worse than this, and I'd probably just buy a replacement dust cover. Like I said, I know there's people out there that, you know, take sandpaper to them, and I've seen them get really good results. It's just a lot of work, and I just don't have, just don't have the time. But I think this is definitely, this would be presentable, in my opinion. good enough for me for now um, I might be able to hit it one more time but and maybe I will if we go through if you guys want to watch us um, clean up that techniques just put it in the comments we'll do a detailed video on it see how well we can clean it up and maybe I'll polish this one more time if it ends up turning out nice but for now, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the turntable, put it on here, and see how it how it looks from where it started. So stick tight. And there we go. The dust cover is back on it. It's still got a few spots, but like I say, you know, um, man. It looks a thousand times better than it did before. 
So, um, you know, whether you do, I mean, you saw how this worked. It's hard to kind of keep a hold of. Uh, if you had, honestly, I'd probably recommend a, a powered uh, drill driver, what have you. Um, and if you had one that had the handle attachment, that would really help you because if this catches on the side, it wants to whip out, you know, in different directions, but you can't do it with this. This just makes it way easier. So, you know, if you got a bunch of things you want to buff, grab one of these. Um, Cause it's definitely cheaper than buying a new dust cover and you might be pretty happy with the results. I think this looks really good. I mean, I've got a bunch of bright lights on this right now. If the lights were dim, like a normal living room, um, I don't think anybody would even think twice about it. So anyway, we'll have links in the description to the Novus, the buffers, the pads, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to give it a shot, it's really, it's not that difficult. So maybe spruce up your uh, dust cover just a little bit. So anyway, thanks for watching another video, uh, tips from the bench. Let us know if you want us to clean this one up, maybe in the next episode. I mean, this thing is, look at this. I mean, it is disgusting. And I don't think that's finger jam. I think that's, you know, just poor storage. I don't see any corrosion on it. This is where you want to look for corrosion usually, is on these screws on the underside. If you want to see us go through and clean this thing up in detail and see if we can get, you know, the speed adjusted and everything, uh, put it in the comments and we'll do that. So, awesome. Have a great one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.